So I've made a tutorial showcasing how to clone any voice using nothing but your computer completely free, and then Python released a new version and completely broke that tutorial. So today I'm here to fix everything and show you how to get it working again. The problem is that we need Python 3.9 for this to work. So we'll have to create an environment that uses this version manually. To get started, you'll need to download Python 3.9. I'll leave the link in the description, but just download and install it. I'm using Windows 10, so I'm gonna go with the Windows installer. And this is very important. Make sure to check this add Python 3.9 to path option. Done installing Python? Great. Head on over to anaconda.com and download the software. The installation is pretty self-explanatory here. No need to change anything. You can just next through it completely. Okay, the final piece of software we'll need is Git. So just download that and again, you can completely use the default settings here for Git. And I know there's a lot, but just keep pressing next and install. We don't really need Git for much during this tutorial. Once you have installed all three pieces of software, go into your search bar and just type in Conda. You should see Anaconda prompt and then open it up. Okay, let's get to work. The first thing we'll need to do is create a virtual environment named Tortoise TTS that's going to use Python version 3.9. So paste in this command line, you can paste it in by right clicking. And by the way, I'll leave all of these commands in the pinned comment down below. The installation will do its thing, just type in Y for yes once asked and wait for the installation to finish. Now we'll need to make this new environment our active one by typing in conda activate tortoise TTS. Now the Anaconda software is incredibly slow on its own. So I'll be installing Mamba to speed everything up. For this, again, just paste in this line from the pinned comment down below and wait for the installation to finish. For me, it roughly took around three minutes. Now we'll just need to activate Mamba. So once again, just type in Y for yes when asked. And after Mamba is installed and activated, let's navigate to the Anaconda 3 folder by typing in CD Anaconda 3. And let's get all of the different dependencies that we'll need for later out of the way. Now, the installation will take some time. For me, it was around four minutes. You'll just need to type in Y for yes once asked. And once it's done, we'll also need to install the Python sound file separately. And finally, after those installations are done, let's clone the tortoise-tts repo from the creator's GitHub, then navigate to the tortoise-tts folder by typing in cd tortoise-tts. And here's where it gets a little bit tricky. The original creator of this software probably didn't assume so many people will want to use it. So the software itself has some outdated requirements that break it. To get around this, go into your user folder, for me it's just Emmet on my computer, and find the Anaconda 3 folder. Inside there should be tortoise-tts and a file called requirements.txt. Go line by line and find the number requirement. Delete them completely, there should be two in total. Also delete the LVM light and change numpy to version 1.20.3, then save the file. Go back to Anaconda prompt and paste in this command line. So after running this command, this doesn't always happen, but in this case, I've gotten an error with SciPy. If you also get this error, go back to requirements.txt and change the SciPy version to 1.10.1. Then paste in the same line as before. And as you can see, we can get through the whole installation without errors this time. Whew. Finally, let's reinstall the requirements we've just deleted before this. So paste in this command for the number and wait for the installation to finish. And finally, let's initialize our Toy Toys-TTS software 
and at this point it should all work flawlessly. And yeah, it does seem to generate the files no problems at all. However, if you exit out of Anaconda prompt and enter again, you'll need to navigate back to your created Python 3.9 environment or you'll get this error instead. To navigate back, just use conda activate tortoise-tts to enter your Python 3.9 environment, then navigate to the correct folders by using cd anaconda3 and cd tortoise-tts. You'll need to do this every single time you open up Anaconda Prompt and want to use this software again. So this is a little bit of a better approach than I did in the previous video, because now instead of relying on the base version, we have a Python 3.9 environment that's gonna allow us to use this software, hopefully without interruptions. And by the way, guys, if you plan to use this for your next web hosting project, check out Hostinger through the links in the description. I have a custom coupon code that will allow you to get an extra 10% off, so if you're interested in web hosting in general, you can also check out uptime.emitreviews.com where you'll be able to find uptime and speed statistics about every single web hosting provider I currently own and make a decision according to that. To learn how to use Tortoise-GTR software, watch my original video, just obviously skip the setup part. And by the way, I also want to thank all of the GitHub users that contributed to this solution. I was only able to get this working by studying their approaches and experimentation and implementing the changes that they did. Thanks for watching and I hope you got it working. I'll see you in the next video.